when you spend a lot of money on batteries, and this is a grita inverter with a battery backup, uh, 2S4P, that means that I have two in series, so two batteries in series, and I have four in parallel. How far do you push your batteries? Now this is the lithium iron phosphate batteries, which if you're not familiar with, they come with about 3000 cycles of charge. So they are one of the most resilient batteries out there. But based on a lot of the information that is available on the internet, there are certain voltages that you could run these batteries at that will extend their life a lot more than regular. The charge controller can be programmed for certain voltages and I'm talking to a 24 volt system, all you have to do is just cut everything in half as far as that goes. So this charge controller, it's set up right now to stop charging at 26.6. 26.6 volts or 13.3 is about 80% where the top capacity of these batteries is. That theoretically extends the life of the battery. Also, these Grita inverters are designed to stop at 25 volts. 25 volts is 12.5, and these batteries, they like to rest around 12.8. The more you discharge them, the more you reduce their life cycle. But you're not cutting out of the 3,000 cycles of charge that they are already rated for. What you do is you actually add life to it. So based on all the statistics that I see online, all the charts that have been ever created since people started to use these in their battery backup systems for the home, a lot of the manufacturers are recommending that if you could maintain them over 12.5 volts, 12.8 resting, and you don't charge them over 13.3 or 26.6 volts in the range of 20% to 80%, then you double their life. And this is the information that I can only verify when I'm gonna be about 60 years old because I'm 47 right now and theoretically I should get about 13 years out of them instead of nine. But the question that I have is that because you're leaving so much energy out on top and so much energy towards the bottom, and prices are dropping like crazy on these batteries. Uh, prices, check the bottom of the video, but you'll see all the brands that I have, and I put a link at the bottom of the video for you to, to check out the prices, but they're all going around $200 these days. So at this point, do I really wanna save the batteries and lose that extra energy that I could store out of my solar panels, or should I just get more batteries and then still run them between 20 and 80%, or should I just push them harder or push them to their maximum rate at 3000 cycles and just get eight years out of them. This is a question that I cannot really answer myself because even if I create an Excel file and I try to add all the power that I'm losing by not putting the extra power in them and not using it at night, I don't know if necessarily it makes complete sense. So the purpose of this video was to make you understand what are the lithium iron phosphate batteries, how do they work, what is the idea behind them? And also to ask the question, what would you do? Because as you learn something from me, maybe today watching this video, I'm going to learn from you by posting the comment in the comment section, and I'm going to read it. And maybe it's information I already have, or maybe it's information that's completely new to me. But that's the whole point about this type of videos about this kind of uh, inverters and solar stuff is that we learn from each other. And this community of people that are really, really passionate about this kind of things is so great. Some of them are trolls, and some of them are just fear mongers, and then some of them are just scared by their own shadow. And but a good comment makes it up for 10 bad comments you're gonna read on your on my videos. So because of that, I dare you to write me a comment. I want to know what kind of experience do you have with your system and let's make this a huge, beautiful chat where people can come to this video and not only see it and get information out of it, but also read the text, read the comments. I'm gonna pin the good ones to the top so that way they could get their information in. With that being said, I really appreciate you watching this video and, and let me know what you think at the bottom in the comment section.